Hello everybody, how good of you to join and welcome back to the Settler 7, the Coast of Peril, or the Peril Coast, something like that. Now we are um, back on track here with conquering, we have this territory under our control now too, that means more stone is coming in and we do need all that stone for some beautiful road upgrades soon. So let's just have us some quarries here as well, three of them should do the trick, um, and also our storehouse there. We also got some fishermen here, or some fish... Um, grounds, fishing grounds. So let's just get some fishers out there as well to get the fancy food back on track as well for this beautiful um, river there that we have um, with aware. some fish One running around or floating around or swimming first. around, whatever. And down here, whoops, down here we have now you our port where we can building. sell for quite a nice price actually some garments. We have lots of these garments. Um, let's actually sell six more of them. So that means um, 18 that we sell um, for a bit of coin. We're going to need that coin um, to make some cavaliers, right? And in this case here, yep, let's get the first opening up new lands, my friend. 10 cavaliers on the way here. We do need some more uh, wheat for that. Um, what do we have? Yeah, we basically need all these things. Now, since we do have that territory here anyway, it might be safe also to build us a nice little storage house here, right next to the um, Order of Knights. So this is where the Cavaliers are in this beautiful castle there. And what we would want to do here then is having the farms right away as well that produce then the wheat for us, right? Let's just get some three of them out here as well. And of course, what we should also be having is some wells. Let's actually build two wells here. Trading outpost has been discovered by it does cost rival. me quite a bit of stone though and another storage house as well. And those barns can work then on these fields. Beautiful. As we can see, the next garments are coming in for more coin on our part. Uh, beautiful. I love all that gold. And at the moment, it's being transported back to my hometown. So once we have um, a storehouse here, hopefully they're transporting it then to the storehouse, which makes a lot more sense and is more efficient than overall. We've also captured this one here with some game on it. So let's get us another forester out there and a hunter that can work in these forests there. Just perfect. Beautiful terrain there. And yes, a few other things we can do now as well with the next prestige level. We can now go to the residence upgrade here and thus finally upgrade our residences. Something we should definitely be having. And also here fortification upgrade so that we can upgrade our walls. Now that makes a lot of sense down the line. We have a few conquest rewards there as well with all the conquering that we did. Um, let's just check real quick. Do we need anything here? We have so much actually. Let's go with a bit more coal because I think coal is something that we really don't have that much of. And a bit of stone because we're going to need a lot of stone now. Um, first of all, I want to finish this one here. This road upgrade that we started uh, some time ago. There we have it now. This actually costs me quite a lot of stone as we can see. But they will now traverse on these paths oh no. much faster than before and the other path is outpost. this one here right so there we have a road and this road here we want to upgrade all the way to that side and as we see it costs us quite a lot but it is a very very important road here that we do this one all right we are out of stone already so let's just get the next rewards then out there for the stone all the way to this point here another seven stone we can afford this one here is still missing. Ah, another seven stone. We don't have that so far, but it's fine. Now, I'm still aiming for uh, cavaliers. I hope someone is sending them soon the resources that they need. There's actually some wheat and water coming from. From where? From where are you coming from? I think this is the enemy, right? This might actually be the enemy that is transporting some stuff there as well to the Order of Knights. Certainly not my knights coming out here then there is my general so here we're also Many seeing the knights then gained access to a new trading outpost and yeah sent the novices brothers of fathers that is something i will not be able to do i think there might be another church somewhere else probably this one here the monastery that we might be using at some point it's still a bit locked to us there let's go back to the capital itself because here we can now finally upgrade those residences it's actually not very expensive and we should be doing this because it uh, basically upgrades those houses to two stories or even three stories if we want to um, and gives me more room um, that we need there as well not more rum though bear in mind <laughs> Let's also upgrade this fancy house there, this residence there. And yeah, we are out of coal at the moment. I think, do we have this one here? Yes, we have it. 
um, let's actually get us another coal mine on the way there as well. We need more coal. Since we do have a smelters and mints and stuff like that. Has been discovered by your rival. All those three are coming out now. There we have our stone quarries now working. Quite diligently so. Hello, fellas. Hope you're doing fine. <laughs> Chopping away the stone. We're picking away the stone there. What's happening with my cavaliers? Where are they? I think it's actually my resources in there already. So as we can see, we get some gold and wheat in there. Also, this one takes a bit longer here. This is not being constructed so quickly. Um, I think we will need to upgrade our um, storehouses there so we have more traders along the way. I think the roads are quite, uh, quite congested at the moment. Right, so let's upgrade those guys. Um, and here I will also need another geologist. So we do have two geologists then and one miner working on that because the geologists are a bit slower than the miners in general. So we do want to have that. Um, there we have the iron, which is running out now too. So we are going to have two geologists here as well. One of your opponents established a new trading outpost. And let's just check it here. As we can see, two geologists working on that. The gold is almost full again, right? So we might just put one of them back to normal mode. Um, the other one is still working as geologist, but there's a lot of gold coming in. The same here with the coal. The two geologists really did wonders here, so let's also put one of them back to normal miners. We should not forget, however, that we have to switch this one back later. And the first horses are coming out too, so we got the first cavaliers now on the way. And this is the first one out of 10, so we do need to recruit 10 now. Um, so once my economy is a bit back on track there. Let's also upgrade this storehouse there, and there is still one more storehouse. And do we have stone? Yes, we have 26 stone because we need to further upgrade those roads here. Another 5 stone, another 12 stone, quite expensive, but totally worth it in the long run. And whoop de do we also have upgraded our first resonance building so that we can see it now. It's just looking, yeah, taller overall than the normal residence that we have there. And yep, we can still upgrade it one more time for a bit of additional resources. We should be doing this for all of these residences here. And this is also just looking fantastic. I love these weavers there as well. I basically love all these um, working animations that we see there as she's getting the... Um, carpets over there now with all the upgrading and stuff that we have to do there along the way well we do have the one problem and that is that my people are quite overloaded i think so we do have a minor congestion um as i also can see we have now seven out of ten cavaliers so this is something that makes me happy and also the green barn here is working now so basically we got now here um oh another storehouse upgrade and i've built a few more storehouses along the road here by the way so there's also another one coming up um because basically um, we are slowing down our economy if stuff is just sitting around. Um, and we are producing now the grain and the water right next to those cavaliers. And the coin is coming from my capital. So we do get way more or faster cavalier coming in. So I think we have around now eight of them and three musketeers. Um, and we should also be thinking about upgrading especially this area here um, as fortification. As this is the entrance sector into you our domains right the um the thing with the conquering of stuff is that you do need to get this territory before you can conquer this territory for example right so i need to follow these paths there um so i should reinforce strategic sectors this is one of them for example this is a joke point so here it cost me seven planks to get some basic um, palisades up and then some stone to get these stone towers up the other thing that i would be doing here is, is finished up here we have the yellow guy um, so there is still something. Did we conquer this already? Oh no, we can only take this one here by sending someone in there or by sending our army, I think. And we have the 10 Cavaliers, very good. You've successfully secured our hometown and whatever attacked us seems to be gone for good. Well done. Oh, now comes the ghost town there. I guess you really shouldn't hello till you are out of the wood. The ghosts are back. Are you believing in ghost ratio? You heard right, ghosts banished us from our town and now they are out to get you. Hold nor to them at all costs. Oh, there they are. How can you kill something that is dead? Off they go. It's getting night time now too, I see. Let's hope it doesn't stay at night. 
The game is looking so pretty at day. And they're attacking now. What exactly? This one. They're attack. Oh, it's 15 of them. What? How am I supposed to fight them off? It's 15 of them. It's not reinforced, unfortunately. I should reinforce this one here while I have the time. And yeah, let's get a few more Cavaliers out there because I'm pretty sure that I need more than just that. It also depends on what kind of soldiers there are, right? It's Musketeers and Pikemen. So my Cavaliers should have an easy job against most of them because the Cavaliers are just stronger. And bear in mind, I don't think that um, the Pikemen are stronger against horses, right? Like it should be. But I don't think that this system works here. So we might actually have a better chance then. They're taking my territory now. I've already got a storehouse here with 15 gold ore that I'm losing right now. Should we dare to attack or should we get more Cavaliers up? I think we go for more Cavaliers. I have enough gold coins anyway. Losing those gold ores is painful, of course, but it's still something we can manage. There is no other industry in this area anyway, right? So it doesn't hurt us that much. Still, what the hell? Ghosts are attacking us. Let's get more Cavaliers out there real quickly. Building. And yes, there are they taking it. Boom. Your realm is being I have lost it and they're attacking. Now they're attacking me directly. All right. So where I've got my... So I have no choice actually other than to protect myself now. They're coming for us. Unfortunately, I have no defense here. Crap, I should have watched out for that more. But let's just see if we can fight them off. And out all of them come. So about 14 soldiers. A few of them are then also cavaliers. And the first big battle against the ghosts is starting. Let's go for it. What are they doing? I think my cavaliers are... Yeah... They're totally confused by the ruins that we have there. Something is not right here. I don't know. It's looking good though for us. Yes, because those horses are pretty strong. Very good. Attack has been cancelled. I've lost quite a few soldiers there too. Good man. They were good men. And we lost them to the ghosts. Upgrade is finished. Fight off the ghost armies. We did that now. So hopefully this mission here can be finished then. Um, a few more cavaliers are coming out. We're just going to put it on 10 Your additional ones. Has been upgraded. Uh, very good. More upgrades there on the way. What happens now with this army here? We can take them back, right? We can take this territory here back. Thank goodness you defeated the ghostly army and one of the ghosts left behind a nice surprise. The missing construction plans for the stronghold. I guess we now know who stole them. So the stronghold that we should be able to build soon. Now that you have a church in your realm, you shouldn't hesitate to start your research as soon as possible. Your enemies are powerful and wealthy and will try to snatch the technologies away from you. Where do I have a church? This one? This one? I haven't gotten the crypt yet. There it is. Very good. I have no idea how I got the church now, but still. Let's build us the church. Very important building. There I can get some drunken clerks out. Let's build us the church. A church usually is in the center, right? But in that case here, the center is full. I did not expect a church. Now I can squeeze one in here though. Now, let's have it here. There we have our church. And a stronghold that I can also build. Cost me some additional stone. Let's have the strongholds. Bah, I don't have any space here anymore. Yeah, let's have the stronghold basically. Bah! Perhaps let's have it out here. Yep, yeah, this is fine. Right, it's a bit further outside of the town itself. And there we can get our soldiers up and running. I could probably also put it more into this one. Yes, let's actually get the stronghold into another realm. Not in my basic one. But let's place it a bit further outside bit more central here, close to my other soldiers. Makes more sense to me. And we've got a lot of space around it for some ornaments if we need to. Plus I've got my storehouses here anyway. Let's upgrade them as well. More cavaliers coming out. Let's capture this sector back. And where are the ghosties? They're here. So I might just capture them now as well. Fight off the ghost army. Oh, in 2.50 there is another ghost army coming. Let's... Take this one, uh, 250. 
I don't even need to... Yeah, let's take this one back for now. Um, and where's my defense, right? Some planks are here already. We need more planks though. And to build up a palisade here. Because for the next attack, I need to be ready for sure. And the stronghold is coming out as well. I also can start with the researching now. <laughs> That's a good thing. Fortification upgrade. My enemies already started with that a long time ago. Fortification upgrade completed where? Up here in my other choke point. So here we now have a tower basically that is protecting us. So the army is going to take damage, the um, invading army that is coming for this one. This will be quite important. And there we are now taking this territory there. And we've also got the fortification here now in this major um, realm. We can do this once more. So with stone this time. And I'm definitely going for that. So this gives us the stone towers then, right? Um, there we got the gate. So they will have to break the gates now first. And there are two towers actually. So if the, um, the ghosts are attacking us in this regard. Uh, 50 more seconds. I'm getting, going to get my army back here right away. Because they need to stay behind protection. I have no idea how big this army is going to be of ghosts. That we'll see coming out of here. But we should be prepared. Where is my stronghold? It's here. Doesn't even have resources yet. Not looking so good. So we still need to push more cavaliers then. And the church also still under construction. I will probably have to build a new construction office. There's the constructor. The constructor doesn't have any additional upgrades. So in that regard, I can't do that. And the damn ghosts are coming again. Fight them off. You are mm. under attack. We're under attack. 19 it is this time. Oh, and two cannoneers. This is a bit stronger now. I hope we can get some more cavaliers out on time. We still have the population for it. And as we can see, my people are still delivering all the resources. So they're going to take this sector here, no problem, obviously. But it buys us some time there, right? We can prepare a bit more um, soldiers there ourselves. Also, the church is out now. So with the church, we can now get some clerics out. And you guessed what they need? Beer. That is right. We need some beer there as well. Um, and we definitely need more residences. Um, let's build us a nice little road. Here. So that we can have a few more residences along the way. Two more, I think. Upgrade is finished. Should be safe here. Right, storehouse has been upgraded, um, and now it's all about the attack there. They're coming for me then. We will not be able to upgrade this Your sector on time. Basically, we don't have the stones for it, but it should still be fine because they're you fighting against the attack. towers. Now they start the attack directly. Um, we got 18 soldiers. We should really be good for it, to be honest. Let's just see and find out. Oh, I'm excited. The ghost army is attacking. And as you can see, they're now fighting the towers first. So the towers will decimate them a bit, hopefully, before anything. So, yeah, those cannons, as we can see, are going down. The first one. And there's the second one going down. The tower is still taking a lot of damage there, too. And the cool thing here is, uh, too, um, the more damage the tower has, the less damage it's doing. Pretty interesting mechanic, I think. There. Yeah, they're losing quite a few there. So it should really no big deal that it should be. Alright, 10%. Actually, they will not be able to, to destroy these towers there on time. And yeah, basically the first tower is... Wait, the first tower is not even down yet. Now it is down, but you know, they still have the other tower to go for, so they will not even be able to penetrate my... my gate here. Um, the stronghold has also been finished in the meantime, so here we do have now the musketeers. This is pretty cool, so they consume coal, gold coin and weapons. Let's get five musketeers out there right now. Um, and we should probably also get us a good Our economy for this one attacked. out there. I'm under attack. Oh! What the? They're attacking now my other terrain here. Let's actually move there real quick. My army is now on the way. We can't allow this other territory to be lost. And perhaps you lose your formation and run. This would be very helpful for me. Oh, we got quite a lot of cavalry here now out there, right? 18. Oh boy. 
Because actually here I got my mountain shelter working. So here I do have a bit of economy. I would lose all these buildings here. But we should be there on time for this ghost army. Um, and yeah, while this is on the way, musketeers, weapons and coal. Now coal, I do have quite a lot of stuff coming out already. And we do have enough tools, right? So what I can do now is I'm going to put the tool maker out of order. And we should be having a weaponsmith already somewhere, or don't we? No, we don't, right? So let's get us two weaponsmiths out there. Both of them are going to work for us producing weapons so that we get the musketeers out. Here, the big clash is happening, though I'm pretty confident that they don't have any chance at all. They lost quite a lot of soldiers there to my towers. And as we can see, the ghosts are going to heaven. And that's it. Attack has been cancelled, so we fought them off. Another thing that is happening at the same time is we are upgrading our camp here now. So we have all the stones in it. And what we can see now is that this is going back. And out comes a beautiful big fortification here of stone. Though the tower is still damaged. So we need to repair this one before we can do anything else here. Thanks to you, the afterlife just got a little more crowded. And this time, the lost souls left behind a present. We found some weapons on the battlefield we thought might be of use to you. Of course they are. Give me more weapons so I can get more musketeers on the way. Some of them are shooters. Um, and, yeah, oh, there's still another battle coming in. Unfortunately, oh, crap. They've took this one here already. Um, let's capture this once again. So I hope that they go out here, capture this one, and then go to my main terrain there, right? Um, because I really want them to take some damage there before I have to clash with them directly. Um, let's upgrade this one, though. I can't put a priority on it, so we probably will not have any defense here. This is not so good, right? So the next attack will be much bigger than the first one, and I basically have no defense out here. Let's place all of them with some defense. Pretty important that we get this one straight up there. We take this one and go back right into our territory. And another thing that I will need to do is I will need to get more planks out. And boy, I almost can't see anything. It's so dark that we got lots of wood. Let's do it here. Let's get us some foresters and woodcutters and a sawmill out there as well. So we get some more planks. The first musketeers are also coming out now of our stronghold. Very good. Off they go. We will need all of them to fight off this army. And we have captured this camp there again. So let's get back into our major sector there. Our protected one. Off you go. So the ghosts will take this one again. Um, um, buy us some time so that we can hopefully finish this upgrade here. As we can see the planks are now coming in. So we should purchase us some time with that to finish this upgrade here. And perhaps they're stupid enough to actually go against my stone walls there. But we'll see this attack next episode. Stay tuned.